Good evening. It's Kathy Beatty with Divorce Support Anonymous. Thank you for joining me this evening. I have a topic tonight that I want to talk about that I feel is so critically, critically important, as I feel all of them are, but this one especially really has value to you if you are going through divorce. Hey, Stephanie, good to see you. Uh, it's been a while. We need to catch up. Um, so, uh, Stephanie is a life coach and uh, a dear friend. So I enjoy her jumping in. So this is really good. Tonight's topic I want to jump into, but first an announcement I cannot forget to make. So next support group starts July 11th online and in person. It is going to be one of my larger groups, but there is still room for you. And I would love to have you join me. And what we do is we come together as a group for 10 weeks every Tuesday night, 6.30 Eastern Standard Time, whether it's Zoom or online, and we become a community and we go through and process all of the trauma that we are going through. It is such an important experience. And this community really does bond. I always marvel at the end of the 10 weeks how close these people have become because we get it. Everyone in the group gets it, where you're at, what you're going through. Maybe different details, but the pain, the heartache, we get it. And so it is just a really great experience, a necessary experience if you want to process through and honestly deal with the trauma that you are going through. So connect with me. I will send you a registration form. It's not too late. We could fit one or two more in. So I hope that you will join us. So that's coming up. So the topic tonight, why is it important for you to be healthy and healed before you jump into the dating scene? I know many of you, having done this work for the past 17 years, I know many of you think, that the answer to your happiness and your fulfillment of life is that next relationship. You think, if I can jump into that next relationship, if I can find that right person, everything is going to be okay. All my pain is going to uh, disintegrate and I'm going to be happy and life is going to just move forward at a beautiful and rapid pace. Oh, how I wish that that were true. But what really happens is when people believe that that next relationship is the answer to their healing, they are so disappointed. How many people have I worked through their second divorce, their third divorce? Because they thought that this next person is going to heal me, is going to make things right, is going to soothe me and comfort me and make me feel valuable after being torn down so incredibly, so deeply. Well, I want to give you some helpful tips as to why you should not jump into the, your relationship, the next relationship, until you're healed. And I've got a few points here that I'm just going to run through. You owe it to yourself. You owe it to yourself to give that space that opportunity for you to work on your healing and not have expectations or demands from another relationship. You need that break. You owe it to yourself. You need to discover who are you now that you have stepped out of this relationship. And more importantly, who do you want to become? Who is it? Because I know I've heard your stories of hundreds and hundreds of stories after the past 17 years. I know how painful it has been. I know how consumed you have been. All of your energy trying to save this relationship or survive this relationship. And you need some air to breathe. You owe it to yourself. So then the question is, or the statement is, my questions are coming up. You're not the you that you're going to be when this divorce is all over. When you're in the middle of it and you're in the thick of it, 
you're in this weird space and it's not you. You've come from a painful past. You're in this quagmire and you're not who you're going to be when you get out of it, especially if you are intentionally working on your own healing. You're not going to be the you. You're not the you that you're going to be in the future. So you can't make the decisions that you need to make, the important decisions that you need to make. So first of all, you owe it to yourself. Secondly, you can't see clearly right now. I know, I was there 23, almost 24 years ago now. You can't see clearly. You are so blinded by the pain and the trauma of what you're going through. You cannot make the decisions, the right clear-minded decisions. That's why you need your network of experts. That's why you need a divorce coach and a mental health coach, a life coach afterward, because you can't see clearly right now. So if you jump into the, in the next relationship and you go into the dating relationship, you're not going to make the right decisions. You're not going to be healthy enough to notice the red flags because you are needy and you are desperate right now. What a disaster that's going to be. You can't see clearly right now. Actually, as you're going through trauma, your frontal cortex, which is your main control of intelligent thought, is shut down. And you are on survival mode. And that survival mode can last a year or so after, certainly during, but also a year or so after the divorce. So if you can't think logically with your brain, then how could you possibly make some right, healthy decisions? You can't see clearly right now. Thirdly, your best future must be worked on and waited for. Ooh, that's hard to hear, isn't it? You have spent so much time already and wasted so much time on this um, negative relationship. You don't want to wait anymore. You so need to be comforted, to be affirmed, to be told that you're wonderful, appreciated, that you're beautiful, that you're handsome, that you're a valuable human being. But you have to wait and work for that. Don't take the shortcuts because then you'll end up in the wrong situation, in the wrong relationship, in the wrong marriage once again. So the real question that I wanna focus on, what do I do in the meantime? What do I do in that divorce period and also afterward? Well, first of all, when you go through the divorce, you need this book. And then afterward, in the meantime, you need this book, which spends eight weeks going through taking inventory and assessment of where you are and a rediscovery of what your dreams and what your goals are. Because you've forgotten. You have forgotten. You also need this little workbook which is going to give you the first year after divorce. It's a diary, a journal that you can use. And boy, has it proven helpful for people to write out. And you may say, oh, I'm not someone who journals. I hate it when people say to journal. They say it because it's very therapeutic and it's very helpful. If you can't journal, then you make a list of your thoughts and feelings. That's a shortcut but you are processing through. So what do you do in the meantime? You are intentional in your healing. You find healthy people. You go through an inventory of your life, which is one of the things that the book does in um, creating your future after divorce. What are those things that need to go, that need to be removed in your, uh, in your life? It's a, a week where we go through the garage sale of the home and heart, where we go inventory. What needs to go? What no longer fits in my life? 
what are those things that don't fit? And that may be people, that may be relationships, that may be places, that may be things, maybe your house. So important. So if you are intentionally working on your healing, finding healthy people, going to that therapist, so many people I have worked with have said, I have never been to a therapist until I went through divorce. And then I went to a therapist and I found incredible insight or a life coach, someone who is going to ask you those questions that you need to be asked. What do you do in the meantime? Oh, that time is so important. You are going to, if you are intentional in your healing, you are going to do a shortcut, have a shortcut in getting yourself healed and healthy. And if you want the next relationship, you're going to be ready. If you are healthy in a relationship and you see these red flags that you would ignore if you weren't healthy because you were so needy and desperate, when you are healthy and healed, you see those red flags and you say, you know what? That's not acceptable to me. That behavior, that's not acceptable to me. I need to step out of this relationship. That is healthy and healed. That is someone who can identify where they're at, where they want to go, what they're focused on, creating that new life and saying, this doesn't fit. Sorry, my friend, this isn't going to work out. So critically important that you are spending this time in the meantime, in the betwixt and between of the divorce and possibly the next relationship, that you are spending your time working on the very, very valuable, valuable time. Um, so thank you, Stephanie. Uh, thank you for loving my books and appreciating the, the, uh, the message. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you, Facebook user, however, whoever you are. I appreciate, appreciate the feedback. It's so, so helpful and so, uh, so necessary. So what do you do in the meantime? You don't waste time. You don't sit back. You don't wait for someone to come. You take life by the handles. And then you ask God, God, where do I go from here? How do I heal? How do I find my new life? How do I do it? God has some incredible words for you. I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. God is trustworthy in this meantime when you are working on your healing. Jeremiah, but I restore you to health and heal your wounds, says the Lord. Praise the Lord, my soul. Forget not all of his benefits, who forgives all of your sins and heals all of your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with love and compassion. Wow. Yes, God is that intimate. God is that powerful in this meantime that you are healing. And this verse, I share with this, I've shared it a few times in the past because I love it. It's in the beginning of one of my books. Behold, God says, I will do something new. Now it'll spring forth. Will you not be aware of it? I'm going to make a roadway through the wilderness rivers in the desert. I'm going to make a way where you thought there was no way. I've seen it. I've experienced it. I have seen God do incredible things in my life that I had never dreamed of. I thought there was only wilderness, but he made a roadway. And in that roadway, beyond that roadway, was a beautiful destination. And I'm praying that for you, my friend, that you will spend this time, this confusing, difficult time 
intentionally working on your own healing. And if that great guy and that great or that great gal shows up in your life, you're going to be ready because you're going to be healed. But if that doesn't work out, you're going to be okay on your own because you are healthy, you are healed, and you have a focus and a plan for your life. And you know that God does as well. I hope this has been of help to you. I so love coming and stepping into your life for a brief time and sharing with you some insight. Um, your life's not over. Divorce is just a messy transition to a beautiful destination. Thank you for joining me tonight. My name is Kathy Beatty, and I am your guide through the difficult journey of divorce and after divorce. Have a good evening.